Something the dickens is going on around here. Who was driving it? I don't know. I just want to get the hell out of here. Please don't let me in the dark. Help me. You're going to get us in an awful lot of trouble, man. We already in trouble. Maximum terror. Jesus coming and he is. Maximum King. Maybe tomorrow will be our world again. Dino De Laurentiis presents Stephen King's Maximum Overdrive. So Jack, that was a clip from Maximum Overdrive. Do you remember that movie? Yep, that came out in 1986. I was like nine when that came out. I would have been, uh, well, I don't want to date myself too much but i would have been 15 or 16 yeah um well i remember that movie i can't even remember i remember the name of it because i was like what's that movie i think it's called maximum memory drive i was like that sounds like a dumb name for her. today's show is car hackers they have all these autonomous vehicles now yeah self-driving cars right so people got to be able to hack them. They're computers. You can hack a computer, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah, you can I, hack a computer. I even saw some video where they had people try to hack into a car, and they got it to stop, start, Oh, I didn't see turn that. Turn off the engine. So people have already done it. Right, people have already done it. But that was before – this is new technology. That was before, you know – the self-driving ones where they have the the camera mounted on yeah. top. I'll, I, I can go into how it works. Okay. Want me to. All right, so the self-driving car. You see it on TV. We're in Pittsburgh, and Uber's starting a whole series of self-driving cars. Yes. Like, soon. It was on KDKA, so people around here probably... The self-driving cars, the way they work, it's kind of like a combination of sonar and radar. It's called LIDAR. Right. So it shoots out a wide array of laser beams, okay? Right. Well, I'm gonna, uh, when we put the show together, I will have – you should be watching video of this right now. Yeah. What you're talking about. Okay. And then uh, Google's have prototypes with various stages and lasers and radar and high-powered cameras and sonar. So – and the main principle of this is – I just clicked off it, but it's lidar, and what it it has a it's either a spinning, rotating device on the top of the roof, or it's just fixed. If it's rotating, it'll have a 360 degree lasers are going out, oh, and okay. it's like thousands per second. Right, so that's how they monitor where everything's at. Yeah, and distance. If, yep. Well, it's kind of like a bat, so it shoots all these laser beams out, and when it hits an object, it bounces back to it. And then it will make an internal image inside of the computer of the car. So it creates a picture, kind of just like a bat. So it's, it's kind of, that's why I said it's like a mix of sonar and radar mixed together. Okay. So. And so you had um, said that it's coming to Pittsburgh. I had just read, uh, actually, I think it was last night. Uh, later this year, uh, there's a Google spinoff company called Waymo. And it plans to launch uh, 62,000 self-driving minivans in San Francisco. So it'll be the first city that truly has like a uh, automated yeah. cab service. Now the funny thing, like a lot of the states, like, there's a lot of fear over this car. I have statistics we can talk about, but you said San Francisco, like California, they're starting to accept them. Right. Arizona. Yes. Um, these states are more favorable for those cars get it, because of the weather. But they, they're financial. They're probably making a lot of money from these companies to do their tests there. Because these are states that need money. Oh, yeah. 
So. So the government's involved. Obviously, they're always involved. Yeah. Subsidizing. Uh, and I actually, you said San Francisco. A woman was killed in uh, in March in Arizona. A woman got killed walking across the street at a crosswalk. Right. Pedestrian danger. March nineteenth, the woman was killed in Arizona. It might do great, you know, with cars or street lamps. But what about the person that jets out, you know, or somebody riding a bike that comes along? Oh yeah, quick. What's right. the quick, uh, the quick reaction time a human has? And then, so. But I did um, also see an article about. A Tesla car had ran into a police cruiser. <laughs> I'll get a picture of that to put up. You're going to write a ticket to on that one. Yeah, who do you write the ticket to if the cop pulls over an automated car? To <laughs> the, you know, that's a little tricky. Do you give it a ticket to somebody that's you know on their cell phone? Someone that's sleeping driving? in the car? Right. A lot of people are like, oh, I was sleeping in the back seat. This thing's supposed to get me to work. <laughs> right. So they're going to have to have a whole new change uh, police tactics. Yeah, regulations are going to change. Um, maybe the company owners, uh, maybe the company that makes the car will start getting tickets. Yeah, so car hackers, what do they like to do? Viruses. Can your car get a virus? Jack, and you know because you just cleaned my laptop. Yeah. My laptop got a virus and it totally shut down it my shut computer. Down. Yep. I couldn't even turn it on, but Luckily, Jack here is real good with computers, so uh, virus. What would happen if your car got a virus? What could yeah. it do? It could just shut off your car? You know, we're, ta we're talking about this. Think of, put your mind, think as a criminal. What would a criminal do with this technology? Well, you'd want to get money. You know, I the perfect scheme popped in my head. Right. Okay, I'm not saying I'm like an evil-minded person, but I would change the coordinates of the route. Right. Let's say someone puts a route in, da da da, I want to go here. You could hack into the car and bring them to you. It could be, oh, you could kidnap yeah. people. Kidnappings. You could murder people that way. You could hold them for hostage. They could go wrong. Then you can send the car off somewhere else. What if you wanted to? <laughs> so you could just take the person, put the new coordinates, send the car somewhere, and have it just stop somewhere. You know, smash and grab. You know how people yeah. ran, run their cars into a store and then yeah. steal diamonds or whatever? That's another good idea. You can program somebody else's car. You go bing, bing, bing. Yeah. You go stand it, uh, stand next to the store window. Use it for a diversion. You kill you some can, people, jam it in there, you steal everything. Clog around. up traffic down the street. We're robbing this bank over here. Police can't right. get through. Right. Cause a, cause a huge pileup on the interstate. If you're going to rob a bank and you can get away because nobody can catch you because the road's closed. Yeah. I never thought of that. Because what does criminals want? They want, th they want money. Yeah. They want, you know, I mean. They, either, they want to do something that benefits them. That's right. what criminals do. There'll be it's either some money people, or they want to hurt someone or they want payback or. Right. Revenge. Or they just want notoriety. People right. might just start doing this and copycatting each other. Who would be the best at it? It'll be like a new version of crime, and people want to be the first Jesse James of this this crime scene. So, wow. What about um, ransomware? I, I I'm not real familiar with ransomware, but it's like, isn't that when you shut down somebody's computer? Yes. Like you can't start your car until you pay us ten thousand dollars. Right. It wouldn't be that much. It'd be like a couple bucks. Yeah. But you or do it to millions of you people. You see the address change. You're coming to our place, and we're going to kill you. And if you don't send us five thousand dollars in the next ten minutes, you're going to be killed. Jack, we're in the wrong line of business. We can make <laughs> some money. <laughs> I don't know if we should put the show on the air because we have too many good ideas this time. Criminals are going to be thanking us. Yeah, this is uh, this is we're not telling people to commit, commit crimes. We're helping the authorities. We're think tanking this. Right, we're think tanking, planning yeah. what could happen. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, what's that called? War games. Right, war so. games with vehicles. Yeah, with. So I mean, it's very. I just bought a new car, but in ten years I might need a new car. Hey, there's a self-driving car. They're cheap. They're reliable. For somehow they made them so people don't get killed, which I don't know oh, yeah. what happened. But I people, could, that could be next. They say the. Uh, they get out these statistics like 
these cars are safer than drivers. Well, it's not true because you've already had a few people die. You've had accidents happen, and there's only a few of them on the road. Yes. Okay? And you can't – it's just not fair statistics to um, rate them to people yet unless you have even numbers. Say you got 100 cars and 100 people. What every 100 drivers – I know 100 people, and they've never been in wrecks. So you, it just depends on what group of people you're comparing them to. Well, I mean, there is um, – there's some good things about autonomous vehicles. Because I would like to like just get on my phone and tell my car, go get an oil change. Your car will oh, go yeah. get an oil change or order some stuff from Walmart, and it drives to Walmart, and somebody at Walmart puts it in your car, and the car yeah. brings it back, right? Well so, – Here's the thing. Last year, 73% of the country did not trust them. Now it's down to 63% trust. So people are getting more trusting. I think they're trying to ease them into our thinking caps and get, them used to, get us used to them. Right. So Just slowly, steadily, um, like with uh, electronic money. Yeah. With PayPal and whatever the other pay, you slowly integrate it. And before you know it, hey, Trump comes out, the economy's crashing, we're going to go to electric money. Yeah. Paper money, throw it in the trash. It'll be beautiful. Burn it. Right. <laughs> we'll uh, build, build a big, beautiful website. It'll be awesome. Um, yeah, women seem to fear this more than men. A lot yeah. more. It's like if, 73% of women fear this, and only 51% of men fear it. That's because 52% of men fear it. Well, women are way more sensible than men, so yeah, that's a fearful number, if you ask me. Uh, most older people are fa- afraid. Pretty much, most young people aren't. So, if it's if you're young, you're into like new trends and right because yeah. you're you grew up with computers. It's not that big of a deal. You trust it, but uh, the thing I don't trust about it, I like to look at the science behind it. Let's go back to how it works. The LIDAR, the sonar, the lasers, they're bringing it to Pittsburgh. That scares me because they've been driving these things in the dry heat in Arizona. Right. I don't believe, as a scientifically looking at it, they're already wrecking and killing people over there. I've seen a report where someone got hit because they were lying, lying on the road and it didn't notice them. And they said, "Oh, there's. We don't know why it happened. What if you come? What? What if there's an accident a few seconds or a minute before, and there's a victim crawled out of their car yeah. and is lying in a road? That's like these these laser beams that are shooting out. They shoot from the top down, so the ground is the last place it gets hit. But there's probably some blind spots. I'm sorry. So anything real low might be missed. Right. If you if you're already low, you might have a problem. So." Your car, if it sees a rabbit or something, it's not going to swerve out of the way. It's just going to run it over. If it's a if it's a little kid, it might just run it over. Now there, I've heard they use cameras and stuff. So instead of have the lasers and the sonar and the lidar, they'll have other technology. They'll all be all working together to make this grid of safety, where they'll use like cameras instead. Now here's where I have a problem with this: all technology fails. What if it's driving? You have a car. You have it for five, ten years, and then you just you're dead because your laser thing went out. All technology fails, right? And it's going to fail, and people are going to get killed. Who do you blame? Like yeah. we were saying with the cop writing a ticket, who do you write a ticket for? Who do you blame? You know, when somebody knocks on your door, well, I'm sorry, your son was walking on the side of the street and he got hit by a self-driving Uber. And there was nobody in it. It was on its way to go get an oil yeah. change or whatever. There are statistics to prove what we just said, too. If you look at the airline industry, a lot of incidents started occurring when the plane started hitting a certain age. Things get older. You can only do maintenance on things for so long before you have uh, wear and tear. Um, like your wash machine, certain brands last longer than others. The ones from the old days used to last way longer. Now they like things are built to fall apart. Yeah, look at all the recalls on all the cars. 
So how long do they go if there's an airbag recall or brake recall? I, how long they go months and months, even yeah. years? I drove they a, fix it. I drove a car and the tire blew out on me before. You have to regain control and how to put put the spare on. What about snow and ice? How are these things no, going to? That's what I was going to bring up. Snow and ice. That's like my big issue. Come into Pittsburgh. Uber's coming to Pittsburgh. La- it's laser beam technology. What's going to happen when laser beams hit? It's, it's a snowstorm, and you got you, what? Ha- does ever anyone know what happens to lasers when it hits snow? No. It reflects. Oh, you wow. might get misguided images. That's true. I never thought of that. And the same thing with heavy rain. So rain, wa- laser beams reflect off of water. You may have wrecks and stuff. This technology may not be the best suited for our area. That's why I think it's having a little success in Arizona where it hardly rains and it's always nice. Oh, that's good, Jack. We'll have to do research on that. Because they were testing it in Pittsburgh, not completely autonomous. They had somebody sitting in the driver's seat just in case. And there was a lot of cases where it was going to go off the road. Yeah. And the... The person had to save the day. Right. Many times. So, dozens of times. So, so you times that times 250,000 people, 250,000 cars yeah. out there, all with computer programs. That's I don't trust it. No. I don't trust the technology. The only thing I like about it, I like some features of it. I don't like full self-driving cars, but I like the features that it came from, like the the camera that helps you back up. Yes. Like you see a lot of vans, big vans have them. There's, um, parking technology. Um, you can even say GPS units were like the first things. Yeah. GPS is great. So yeah, I use GPS all the time. I love it. I would, I love it when there's, there are devices for humans to use. Right. Humans that are still driving with technology to help you drive. Well, let me tell you what, let me tell you a quick story about GPS. Um, I went to Myrtle Beach just a few weeks ago on vacation and they had replaced a bridge. This bridge used to have on-ramp and off-ramp. Well, they they discontinued the on-ramp and off-ramp. When they put the bridge, it was just a hill. You couldn't get on, you couldn't get off. My GPS wanted me to get off and crash into the hill. Oh, my what goodness. If, what if that was a self-driving car and it followed You'd that GPS? You'd be dead. I would be dead right now if I... I mean, You'd it be happened. dead. It, didn't, it wasn't updated. You'd be dead. Right. And things can be changed, like, in a day. There's a new bridge right down the street here. You know, we, we live along the river. Uh, my GPS doesn't even recognize. When I go on that bridge, it looks like I'm driving in the water, you know? It's like I'm, yeah. It doesn't... So these things aren't, if they're not updated accurately. And what about events? Like they have parades. Right. You're driving a a self-driving car. Say you're passed out sleeping. There's a a parade in a small town. And it's nothing updated in no system. You just like plow through a whole ton of people. Well, they're having a lot of. Like 60 miles an hour. Right, exactly. And they have a lot of problems with these apps that you put on your phone for directions, not just Google Maps, but there's other um, apps that you can get where it's sending every car on the same road. And they're having these big traffic jams through these small towns because people are listening to the GPS. They're and every, taking all the side routes. Right, because <laughs> it's, 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 it's shorter, quote unquote. But, you know, so what happens when every single... 62,000 of these self-driving minivans in San Francisco all take like a tiny little back street because it's quote unquote quicker. Yep. You Main know, street. Tra- will, traffic jams. Main street will be empty. It might not be death, but there will be a lot of traffic jams with a bunch <laughs> yeah. of self-driving damn cars. Crazy. But yeah, car hackers, it's going to happen if it's not already happening. Yeah, I, I, mean, I, I fear it. People hack your phone, they hack your computer, they're hacking your TV. They can listen to you on through your Google Home or your Alexa or Alexa or whatever it's called. People laugh when people... They, people might be laughing right now about us talking about cars being hacked. But people always laughed at new ideas. And I'll tell you what, criminals 
always try to get the edge on new things. Absolutely. So. Yeah. So I can see it. We can, uh, Mike and I will put videos of things that in the past were thought to be innocent, but turned not innocent. Right. So we have, of course, on the Paranormal Roadshow, we have the strangest theories that we can come up with. And we do spirit, you know, we go ghost hunting yeah. and, and we use our spirit box. And we have noticed, as many people, that spirits can control small electronical devices. They can flicker lights. Yes, it's happened to us. They can turn off on and off TVs. Yep. Right? That happens to a lot of people. If you listen and watch our other shows, you can hear our EVPs. They, they can manipulate um, the spirit box to create an, a response. So Flashlights. Right. Flashlights, they can make it flicker. So what about not car hackers, but spiritual hackers, yeah. car hackers that are spirits? If a, if a spirit, if a ghost can flick a light, it can flick a switch somewhere deep in your, in your autonomous car yeah. and make, you, make the brakes come on or make you take the wrong exit or make you slam into a cop car or run over a bike. So, death by ghost <laughs> ghost, ghost hacking right so <laughs> it takes it to the ridiculous level who do you blame <laughs> like your car runs off a cliff do you blame the the person that owns the car the person that created the car or can you bring uh, blame a the ghost? unknown yeah right it's gonna be and we would never know but maybe that could happen it will but you won't know it might happen Ten percent of the time, the reason there's fatalities, you know, they that. say pe that people say spirits um, mess with their cars already. Right. I mean, I'm sure there's stories we can find on the internet. Back in Japan, uh, they came up with the word gremlin because the cars would act up. They would say it was gremlins. They were yeah. little creatures. So this the radios is, turning channels and this is an unprecedented. It's happened, and people talk about it. And then they made a cute little movie in the 80s. Remember the Gremlins? Yeah. Speaking of movies. But anyway, okay. Watch this short clip. This is from Maximum Overdrive. It's one of my favorite cliffs, uh, clips with a steamroller. Kid, I love the kid's face gets plowed into the... That's the kind of stuff that got me, because I was about that age. Yeah. And I was like, damn, they're even killing the kids in this movie. I know, Stephen <laughs> King, he's a sick man. <laughs> That's good. Uh, I can't think of anything else from Car, Hackers, Jack. No, it was an interesting subject, so... We're, oh, we'll be back. I mean, this technology is taken off. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the year, I'm sure there'll be a multitude of stories of people getting ran off the road and hikers getting <laughs> hit and cops getting smashed into and maybe gremlin appearances i don't know right and then we'll come out and be like hey maybe it's a spirit maybe it's a ghost i yeah, will never know maybe we'll it's, say hey we warned you it's a ghost in the machine paranormal roads we warned you i know so if you don't listen to us sorry <laughs> <laughs> well right. this is jack and i'm mike we'll talk to you later See you next time.